everyone and welcome to my channel Be Yourself. This is Dr. Rene Sharma and today I am going to discuss about the Sanon's Diversity Index. It's a very simple topic but we generally miss the portions from this topic because we don't know the formula and how to solve this. It is very simple. So I have chosen this topic at the last moment for the CSIR JRF net. These questions can also be asked in other competitive examinations. It can be uh, an important topic for your GET, for DBT, for ICMR, for any other top, other competitive examinations related to the life sciences. So let's start. Actually, uh, what does it mean? It is the mathematical measurement to define the community compositions or the number of species and commonness of the species in a community. And if this is a general formula for the Sanon index. You can simply apply this formula to calculate the Sanon index. For here, I have other formula that sometimes uh, its equitability is asked. What does it is? It is the Sanon index divided by the maximum number of the Sanon index. And here, maximum number of Sanon index is equals to the login as as is the total number of the species at that particular community. So, suppose we have a questions here, how to solve such questions related to the Sanon index. Here I have taken question from uh, CSIR JRF net. I, and you can also, uh, you can also solve, take another questions for your practice, but it's a very simple way. You can easily uh, calculate it. For, so, to calculate the Sanon index, first of all, what we will do, we will first calculate the total number of species here. For community C, P, uh, C1 and community C2 is given here, and E, B, C, D are the different types of species, and there 25 is the number of species in community C1, and 80 is for the C2. So, when we calculate the total number of species for uh, C1, we will get 100, and for similarly for C2, we will get 100. Now, according to the formula, we have to first calculate the PI. Now, what is the PI? PI is actually the relative number of species, particular species in a community. So, how we calculate the relative abundance of the particular species? We know that even uh, we are calculated, uh, calculating the relativeness of any species. What we do? We simply divide the number of species with the total number of species. So, for the A, we will have 25 divided by 100 will be equals to 0 0.25 is the value of pi for a similarly for p it will be 0.25 let me write down it here for community c1 uh, species are a b c and d it will be 25 25 25 and 25 so the pi here will be 0 0.25 0 0.25, 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 whereas login PI will be the value is already given here for the 0 0.25 login the value is minus 1.4 so let it down uh, let uh, write down it here minus 1.4 minus 1.4 minus 1.4 minus 1.4 and what will the multiplication of pi into log in pi it will be 0 0.35 minus 0 0.35 minus 0 0.35 minus 0 0.35 and again minus 0 0.35 and the summation of pi or the summation of pi into log in pi will be minus 1.4 but what is the formula of Shannon indices it is the summation negative summation of pi into log in pi pi log in pi so for the community c1 it will be 1.4 similarly we will calculate the value for the community c2 which will be for the species a b c and d and here the number are given 80, 5, 5 and 10. Let uh, write down it here. 80, 0, 5, 0, 5 and 10. And for the PI, it will be 0 0.8, 0 0.05, 0 0.05 and 0 0.1. And the login, let's check out from the question. 4.05, it is minus 3. So, it is for uh, 0 0.05 it is minus 0 
3 uh, sorry it's 3 it is 3 minus 3 and for 80 it is minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 for again for uh, 0 0.05 it will be 3 and for 0.1 it will be minus 2.3 for 1 it will be minus 2.3 so when we multiply it with the pi log in pi we will get let, let, me, let me use my calculator it will give you point minus uh, 0 0.16 and here uh, we will get minus 0 0.15 minus 0 0.15 and here we will get 2.3 so when we will add up this we will get 0.16 plus 0.15 plus 0.15 plus so it will be point because here decimal is here so it will be 0 0.23 not here sorry so it will be plus 0.23 we will get it here as 0 0.69 negative 0 0.69 so here we are taking negative of the summation of multiplication of pi into log in pi so for the quantity c2 it will be 0 0.69 so you can see how simple it was and the answer will be number 1 1 1.4 and 0 0.69 so such questions are frequently asked in different types of competitive examination especially related with that of the life sciences so if uh, and this uh, it's generally scores uh, never scores negative marks so it's better to understand such types of questions and prepare such sets of questions so that you can score more and more without undergoing any negative marking so this was in this video in next time i will i, I will discuss some more questions Based, based on the numerical formulas so don't forget to subscribe my channel be yourself and definitely share it so that more of you can benefit it and click on the bell below the video so that you can get the notification as soon as i will upload my videos